Here we are, muckers. Right, I've got to be quick. Missus just popped to the shop, and I'm currently mixing up. Putting some medi clay in. Um, after last week's video, a few of you pointed out that I was doing my water test slightly wrong. Put my finger over the top of the thing. Don't want to be doing that. So I've retested. The KH has come back at. Well, hang on, I'll written down there. KH has come back at 7. Happy with that. Um, GH has come back at 10. Happy at that. Everything else, the ammonia was fine, um, zero. The nitrite was up slightly, and my nitrate has gone back up again this week. Um, so, I mean, again, it's like 1.0, you know, but which isn't a lot to a lot of people, but I don't like it. But hey, we need a bit of nitrate in there to keep the cycle going, I suppose. Um, right, so yeah, I've got the clay, and I'll mix it in. I've got a bucket full of palm water, obviously. I use uh, Medi Clay. It's the only product I've ever used. I've never used anything else, but I'm just want to mix it with. Shh. I'll get it done before she gets back. Get the list washed up, you never know. So we'll give that a go and get this mixed up, packed up before she gets back from the shop. She won't be long. Um, I'll catch you in a minute. Right, muckers, I'm back. Right, got all that cleaned up before she got back. She'll be get a, bit, a little bit wild otherwise, using her kitchen stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, right, yeah, so. With uh, the nitrates and the nitrite up slightly still, I've decided I've gone for a, uh, a small water change. Probably only about 5%, not not a lot at all, just took the top off it, so to speak. I've, uh, let's spin you around. There we go. That one's off at the minute. I've uh, just checked on it, it's, uh, it's doing alright, it's doing well. Added the, uh, the pure gel to it, so I've got that and the UV off for a little minute, just let that. That gel soak on through. Zoom you out now. Um, yeah, so want me a little. Want me dechlorinator dribbling me water in. So yeah, but as I was saying, guys, yeah, I use Medi Clay. Um, I've not tried any of the others. There's, there's others out there, Casiri, etc., etc. Or as Andy on uh, Quipon Lifestyle says, there's some fuck. Got to be a little bit careful how you say that. He seems to swear by that as well, so, but yeah, I've, uh, I mean, I'm nearly, well, my nearly 2,000 gallons, so, well, no, just over 2,000 gallons, so I've, um, I've used 250, 270 grams, because I thought I'd put a little bit more in, 250 is the right dose, uh, I put an extra 20 grams in, it's not going to hurt, it's, um, you can't overdose on it, so, happy days. But everybody's good. They're all, they're all doing well. I've cut the feeds right back. I'm just feeding one a day, one time a day now. Just uh, dribbling a few pellets in, a few, a few of the wheat germ pellets. But yeah, everything's running all right. Like you know, it's all, it's all going well. I managed to stop the leak I had on the tap down there. Um, yeah, it's all going well. That's just catching up in there now. Obviously, I've drained some of the water off. The level in the in the vortex drops so but yeah i'm gonna go on and add this clay a minute guys and then uh oh, i'm gonna put it in here on the just on the outlet here tell you what i'll put you down because that's not the easiest option the uh easiest task to do <laughs> one-handed Catch you in a minute. So there you go, that's the clay in. That's it now, I won't see me fish for a day or two now. 
um, but I'm confident they're all happy. Now, I've added that, obviously with my bacteria levels being a bit low at the minute. Well, it doesn't just help with water clar clarity apparently. It helps enhance the skin quality, stimulates the appetite. They, they don't need to be any hungrier, they're always bloody hungry. Um, controls build up of waste and bacteria which cause ill health. So, from what I've seen and what I understand it, it helps the, the good bacteria regenerate as well, like you know, so. Yeah, don't take long to come through though. Look, it's cloudy in me. Vortex already, you can't really see it on the camera, but it is cloudy in there now. That's coming up nicely. So, so yeah, we're, uh, you know, we're hoping that that's, uh, that's going to help them out a little bit. And then hopefully we'll see you in a few days, but, uh, spin your back round. Yeah, do you guys, uh, um, noticed I was doing my water test wrong? Thanks. <laughs> you know, I've been doing it like that for yonks. You know, um, even on the tanks, I was doing it like that, and wow, all these years I might have got these tests all wrong. So thanks for spotting that, guys, and, and letting me know on that. That's that's banging. You know, that's that's brilliant. So yeah, we're um, remember that in the future. But uh, this week, what am I up to this week? If this weather cheers the hell up, I'm gonna look at uh, building me door. Finish me woodwork on there, like build me door. You should be able to see it just there. There it is. Yeah. Um, I've ordered something for the giveaway for the 750 subscriber giveaway. When that when that comes, I'll hopefully that'll be here in the week. I'll uh, give you a little sneak peek on that. Um, and I've got a list of shout outs that I'm going to do as well this week. Um, I'm currently watching a few other keepers and builds on YouTube and there's some cracking channels on there it really is I expect a lot of you are watching them already but obviously I'll give you give them all a shout out there uh, there's some good channels on here like you know so yeah but for now guys for Wednesday I'm gonna leave you to it and uh, call it a day because I'm getting wet <laughs> seeing a bit muckers are we muckers Right, Saturday. This is after to be quick. It's starting to rain again. I'm trying to do this in between the rain. I'll tell you, the weather down here this week has been absolutely bloody rubbish. Uh, right, quick spin around. I'll show you what I've done this week. So, over there is my door to go onto there. Alright, and as you can see, that drawer's off because is down there painted I got everything all apart again because I've been painting so we have got somewhere water's still a bit cloudy but everybody seems happy the clay's slowly but surely clearing out of there so yeah spin your back right yeah so that's really all I've got done this week I haven't managed to get out here all that much. Yesterday, fantastic day. Um, well, cloudy but dry. Hence why I went on and done some painting. Um, and then today, blowing a hooli, chucking it down again. So I'm trying to get this video recorded quick, ready for this weekend's upload. Um, in between the showers, like you know. Well, showers. Huh. Showers don't last very long. This is lasting for hours on end. It's funny because Martin down at Devon Koi Pond down there, he seems to have had quite a good week weather-wise. He's only bloody next door. Here in Somerset, it's bleeding daft. Terrible weather. Anyway, right. Now, details on the giveaway. Again, I've got to be quick doing this because it is starting to rain again. So I'm going to get it all out. It's something different. Something a bit different, right? Now, I go on all these groups. Oh, there's bloody wind. You know, you go on all these groups and that, and all on YouTube and all on Facebook and everywhere you go. Can somebody give me an idea of what variety my koi is? It's the same with whatever fish you keep. It was the same in the cichlid world, like, you know, what cichlids do I have? Well, not being funny, you would have known if you went and bought them. 
Um, but anyway, that's just my opinion. So what I've done this uh, this giveaway for 750 subscribers. We're only at 650 something at the minute, or 660 something at the minute. So I'm, but I'm a little bit ahead of myself. But I'll give you a little idea of what we got. So I'll just lay them out a minute. I think they're quite handy for everybody and to the point where I'm actually going to buy myself another one and I'm going to have a set myself so spin you around there we go this is my 750 subscriber giveaway so you've got all these sheets with all these different varieties on and the corresponding number gives you the name on the other sheets. Now I thought that was bloody good just to put up in your shed somewhere or in your koi cupboard, whatever. And along with it, hands-on health for care for koi DVD. Now I have watched that. It's old, but gold. Well, say old. It looks like it was filmed probably about 10 years ago. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty good. Like I say, so... But that's my 750 subscriber giveaway. Okay? Now, I usually say UK only because of postage, but I can't imagine this is going to be much uh, cost to post this. Obviously, the cost falls on me. Um... So yeah, I will do this worldwide, but please bear in mind that it is all in English. Okay? So there you go, that's that's that. Let's get those numbers up, shall we? Um, I also wanted to do a couple of shout-outs this week. A couple of channels that I've been watching quite a lot of lately. Um, they've got some cracking content, some new builds are going on. Um, new fish, lots of new fish coming in this this last couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to give a few of them some shout outs and I'll put the descriptions or their, their, um, uh, and then there, their names and that in the, in the bottom of the description. Um, but first one, nice young French lady by the name, name of Lo Margo, Margro from the French Queenection channel. She's doing a bill or done a bill. Yeah, she's uh, mucking about with things at the minute. She does little visits to Koi. Hey, I'm blowing around everywhere now. She does these. Uh, she's done a visit to uh, a New Forest Koi and everything like that um, earlier in the week. Um, yeah, second one I want to look at or give a shout out to is Koi Water Plants and Rants. He's got some cracking content on there. Check that out, and uh, he's actually paid a visit to my local koi dealer, or one of the local koi dealers, um, that I'm going to be popping down to in the next few weeks. I've got uh, got some plans to buy some fish down there. I've been down there a couple of times. He's got some some crackers down there. Um, so yeah, go and check them out, and I'll uh, again I'll put the the link in the description. Um, and another one, which looks like a new channel. He ain't got very many subscribers at the minute, but he's got some good content. He's doing a new build. He's, he's got a smaller pond at the moment. He's currently in the middle of doing a... or just starting a new build. And that is a Eden Koi Pond build. Again, put the link in the description. You go check him out. And uh, also there's two more. There's Just For Koi. He's, uh, he's given me some good uh, helpful tips and again got a lot of content and uh koi crazy john he's just finished his build he's uh he's got a nice little sleeper build going on and uh well a little it's not very little to be fair but <laughs> you know but yeah yeah he's cracking on he's having his garden done and everything like that so yeah go and have a look go and check him out anyway um but for now this week it's a bit of a shorter one this week because like i said just not a chance to get out here um, so yeah, on that note, I want to thank you to everybody that's commented, liked, subscribed, all my new and old subbies, crackers muckers, crackers, and uh, also all the guys that uh, had some uh, information or some tips 
not to cover up the test tubes with your fingers on your coit <laughs> on your bond tests. That's uh, there's a massive difference actually. It does actually have an effect on the, the result. Um, I did two tests side by side, one with my finger over it, and one without, one using the lid. Yeah, the results were different. So putting this over your test tubes, big no no, big no no, you don't get true reading. Anyway, I'll leave it there. See you next time muckers. Have a good one.